would you trust a self-driving car? And specifically, how many of you would trust a self-driving car to take your child to school? Can you raise your hand? Okay, very good, very good. Okay, still in a minority. Now, of course, if you live in Arizona, you can already do that because they are piloting, you know, Waymo. There are trials of 5AI and Oxbotica in London, so you can see them around the corner. But perhaps those who didn't raise their hand will be aware that we've already had some fatal accidents, and in particular Tesla, which has an autonomous mode and it is powered by a deep learning controller, actually killed a driver. And we also had an Uber crash. Uber uses LiDAR technology and also uses deep learning, computer vision, in order to identify objects ahead of the car. Uh, now, the reasons for the crash are a lot more complex because there was a test driver in there. But the biggest question to people like me, scientists like me, is how can this happen if we often have 99.9 .9 accuracy? 99.9, okay? .9. where does it come from? You are getting this solution, a black box, and it has on the label 99%. Now, of course, as a scientist, I also know that machine learning researchers have already discovered the reasons for this. And this is because deep learning can be fooled, and it can be fooled very easily. So this is the same deep learning that can beat human performance in computer vision. But it turns out that it's very unstable and very brittle with respect to very small modifications to the input. So in this particular case, you take an image that's classified as a panda, you add some noise to a human, it looks identical, but it will classify it as something completely different. And of course, this is a security risk, this is a safety risk, and if I take you to the autonomous driving, then my question is, should we worry about autonomous driving? Well, what you see there is uh, some images from dashboard cameras. Uh, the same kind of camera that Tesla has. Uh, and it's looking at an urban scene. What you can also see there is a single pixel highlighted, and that pixel was found uh, by my student's software. Now, if you look at these, uh, the deep learning network actually classified these images into those which have a red or uh, green traffic light. If you take something with a red traffic light, imagine you are sitting in that car, so you are stopped. If you can attack, in something like three seconds, it is possible to change just this one pixel, and it will immediately change the classification. And if it changes to green, well, I wouldn't want to be in this car. Now, what you can show is with these kinds of modifications, you can reduce uh, the network's accuracy to 0%. Okay? This is the same black box, exactly the same network. The only thing that I've done is I've modified the input data.